Miss Tyson. Friday, November 11th, 2016, my mom and I attended a light heart event and Cicely Tyson was the guest speaker. Let me be honest, there were many other speakers, but for me, she was the only one I had gone to see. I was mesmerized for almost half of her speech, shocked at the amount of wisdom. I was sharing space with the Cicely Tyson. I asked afterward if there was any room for me at the reception. I was told there was none and the door closed behind her. That was my experience of seeing Miss Tyson for the first time in person. I left that night with a determination not only to meet the celebrities that I respect, but the ones that inspire me like no other. Miss Tyson, brown skin, grayed hair, the gorgeous clothing swayed with her every move movement, displaying simplicity and beauty, curing my self-doubting ailment. She walks to the pedestal with grace and wisdom, allows the clamor to minimize my excitement unfolding like a spring flower ready to blossom. Though she was miles away, not favored to sit on row one, I stared in amazement, her magnetic finesse that could never be outdone. I felt her warm spirit wave over me. Her humor fills the room with laughter. To keep your hand on the plow, she advises, every person in awe thinking to bow after. Get out of your own way and take the first step as though excellence is all she expected of me. Like it was the only she and I in the room. There was no one else I cared to see. My mind couldn't help but wonder when her hand glided against her paper while she recited her brilliance. How her words were manifested. Did they require many days or a single period of an intellectual dance? The truth is spoken with an abundant presence of authority. Everything I hoped this would be, exuding the knowledge of overcoming the status quo in our minority. In the same minute she was there, then gone. Everyone erupts into a resounding <laughs> roar. I stand in stricken awe, shifted to my very core. Thank you, Ms. Tyson. May you rest in peace. Thank you for being a beautiful light in our community, in the Black community, in the cinema community. Thank you.